And then last but not least, you all. There we go. Bye bye. Okay. Hey. Right. We're going to start with some cross body toe touches. So start with your legs fairly wide apart and your knees a little bit bent. So not completely straight, soft legs, arms outstretched and just bend and go to the opposite foot. But keep your legs ever so slightly bent for this first phase. Perfect. Making sure that you stand up nice and tall. I'm just gonna change the view I've got because at the moment I could just see myself and I don't like that. So let's go. Gallery, there we go, that's better. All right, do a couple more. And then straighten your legs, take them a little bit wider apart and repeat the cross body toe touch, but with straight legs. So you should feel this more in your hamstrings now. Keeping your arms wide apart. Oh, I've just realized I've, I've committed a terrible error of not starting a workout. <laughs> Can't waste it. One more, Anne's doing the same. <laughs> Log everything. Hi Jo. And then find somewhere to do leg swings. Forward and back leg swings. I'm just gonna move the Hoover attachment out of camera shot, there we go. Katie! Hello my lovely, how are you? Yeah, you're muted, sorry. Just hand gestures. <laughs> so Joe and Katie, they just say to you what I said to the others, my Wi-Fi is rubbish. If I freeze or if I disappear completely, I might have to start and um, stop and start the meeting again. Don't go anywhere. I hope that should work, but fingers crossed we're okay for 45 minutes. That's all I need from you, Wi-Fi. Then change legs. Good. Just a few more. And then side to side, keeping your chest upright and really working on your swing out to the side and across your body. Try and mobilize your inner thighs as much as possible. And change sides. I've got freshly washed leggings on. You know what it's like when you can't quite pull them up and the gusset's halfway down my legs. Hang on, let's see if it's better. <laughs> At least I'm hoping that it's just because they're freshly washed and not because the Christmas cheese is still having an effect. Do a couple more. Good. And then without any weight, floor touch and press. So stand with your feet hip width apart, tap the floor between your toes and then press up nice and tall. So you're going from a deadlift position to a really high reach above your head. Also I can't stretch my arms up completely, but extend as much as you can. So you're really reaching up. Well done. Hinging your bum back and standing up tall. Good, just do one more. And then some easy curtsy lunges. So don't move too much out to the side or back. Small step. That's it. This shouldn't feel challenging. Just moving your legs. Might have to lose a layer. Hi, Etta. <laughs> Keep going. I'm very black today, aren't I? I think the weather's obviously had an effect on my dress today. <laughs> okay, just do one more on each side. 
and then I want you to find somewhere to do a high press up. Um, so wall, kitchen work surface, high table, but make it easy. I'm just gonna use my bar here. So hands about shoulder width apart. And these should not feel challenging. So if they're a bit too difficult, so if your surface is a bit low, just walk forward, bend your knees, and you can make it a bit easier that way. This should be just be warming up your upper back and chest and not taxing your arms too much. Do a couple more. Good. And then down onto your, to one knee, other leg forward, thoracic rotations. So big reach rounds and then feeding your arm through. Eloise, my brother and sister-in-law have bought my nephew the same climbing frame that Etta's got. And I was, our family Zoom meeting on Sunday was something like our session when she just kept on disappearing. So it was just Becky just going, <laughs> looking terrified as Marty climbed up it. <laughs> it's such a cool thing. One more. And then she changed sides. a couple more and then roll onto your back put your hands behind your head and push your elbows down onto the floor don't let them rise feet and knees together and then roll your knees from side to side so pushing your elbows down onto the floor will limit your range of movement a little bit with this but that's fine i want you to keep your chest open while you're rolling from side to side. If this pulls too much in your lower back, then just limit the movement even more. Looking good. Try and keep your knees tight together. Do one more to each side. And then bring your arms down to the floor roll your back down to the floor and you can change your foot position if you want to as well and then bridge so push your hips up and then roll your bum down to the floor so it's a quick push up and a slower roll down well done we'll do another 30 seconds of these Okay. And Louise is having the assistance of a baby across her hips. <laughs> baby is optional. Okay, do two more and then slowly stand up. Up you get. Step backs, alternate leg. So lean forward a little bit, brace your core before you start to move and then light step backs. Good. Keep looking down at the floor. And if you're really wobbly, engage your core and you can even put your hands on your hips if you want to, if you're really wobbly, it can help a bit with balance. Thirty more seconds. Everything my legs cracking and groaning. I did hill reps last night. Ugh. Good. Three, two, one. And then last one for the warm up sumo squats. Feet wide apart. Keep your arms up to your chest. You're just going to squat down and stand up and do quite quick squats. You don't have to go very low but really think about squeezing your bum. So when you get to the top of the movement, tuck your bum under and squeeze it. 
and get those glutes working as much as possible. Lovely, well done. Good mobility there, excellent. I was clearly using my adductors when I was doing hill reps yesterday. That's quite sore. <laughs> I ran with someone who's really quick yesterday. That was clearly a mistake. Okay, just do two more. Good, and then rest. Right, grab a drink if you need it. Lose any layers if you need to. We're going to do Tabata workouts today. So that's using my lovely lady timer, speaking in the distance. So the first round, 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. We do two rounds, rest, another two rounds. So the first exercises are ground to overhead, using weights this time. Go as heavy as you want to. So you probably don't wanna get the weights all the way to the floor. Your finishing position is shoulders no lower than hips. So weight towards the floor, dip and then drive up above your head. Then, um, a crouching lunge. So start kneeling and it's these little lunges, changing legs each time. So it's alternate legs. So you can either change legs on the floor or you can change legs when you're crouching, if that makes sense. So I think it's a bit more taxing on your quads if you change legs when you're up there and it works with glutes a bit more if you change legs kneeling down. So play around with it. Then we're going to do a walkout into a bear crawl. So bent leg walkout, down to a bear crawl, tap each shoulder, push up and then reach up. It's a lot going on in one movement, so you won't do many of those. I'll show you before we start the exercises again, by the way. Um, and then the last one is a side to side leap. So that is just leaping from side to side and using a running motion. So I'm just bringing my knee up a little bit. And the more you leap, the harder it'll be. Yeah, that's got me out of breath. <laughs> okay, let's get this set up. So we've got a seven second lead in. We're starting with ground to overhead, get your weights ready. 30 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Three, two, one. Hang on. Starting your Tabata workout. It's not quite on yet. <laughs> Hang on. Let me go. Go. Exercise. That was a bit early. Let's turn that down. That's too loud. Eth has got lots of chance to shout three, two, one, go this afternoon. <laughs> Good, well done. So if your weight's a little on the heavier side, when you bring it to your chest, you can do a little knee dip before you drive it above your head. Two, one, rest. rest. Next one, this is the crouched lunge. So it's easy to start kneeling down. I'll show you how from side on. So it's up. And then changing legs. Off you go. Exercise. Good. Make sure you stay crouched. So you never stand up fully doing this. You stay down. Good. Bit of coordination for this one as well. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. Walk out. I'll show you again. Start tall. Bend leg. Walk out. You do a shoulder tap and then you stand up and then you reach up tall. Two, one, off you go. <clears throat> and when you push up off the floor, try and think about using different hands each time. Let's have a look at you. Good, so you're doing a Shoulder tap in a bear crawl position. Five seconds. Good, rest. Well done. And then our last one of the sequence is a side to side leap. So use a running arm if you want to, or you can just keep your arms by your side. I'm freezing a little bit. Go. 
So if you're happy with balance for doing these leaps, work on leaping a little bit more. If you're in barefoot or socks, this will definitely be more challenging. Your trainers give you quite a lot of stability. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Ground to overhead again. Round two. Grab your weights. If you've got options to use heavier weights, try and increase them. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Off you go. Good. Let's watch your form. Nice. Keep the weight close to your body. Pretend that I'm extending this high above <laughs> my head. <laughs> well done. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. rest. Crouching lunges. Open the door. It's quite warm. All right, so get into positions, starting on your knees. Three, two, one, off you go. So in the last round, I swapped legs when I was in the crouching position. This time I'm gonna swap from the kneeling position. Well done. Well done, five seconds. Two, one, rest. Walkouts. Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one, off you go. So walk into bear crawl, tap, tap, stand up, stretch up. going. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. Yes. Side to side leaps. After this one, you get a minute's rest. So if you can leap further, raise your heart rate more, that'd be good. Three, two, one, off you go. So I'm just using a running arm movement. It helps my balance a bit, but it might not be you. <laughs> These get quite hard. 10 seconds. <laughs> Should I work out which ones of you have got music going in the background? <laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Grab a drink. You've got just over a minute's rest. And then we're repeating those again. Um, is everyone's knees okay? Doing knees, crouching, lunges, dodgy. Okay, if you're not sure about those, grab a weight, really crouch down, and do a crouch step back instead. That's a bit more knee friendly. They are challenging because you've got the impact through them and also they are really working on quads as well. So don't do it if it's hurting. Right, 30 seconds rest. And then we're going on to ground to overhead again. If it's too much rest and you want to get started early, be my guest. I won't tell you not to. <laughs> 20 seconds. So again, if you have any progressions, if you have any heavier weights, use them. Get ready, 10 seconds. Start whenever you're ready now though. Be there. Two, one, off you go. Exercise. I keep on almost forgetting about the ceiling. And I am gonna smash it one day. <laughs>
10 seconds. Almost there. Two, one, rest. But before too long, I can do classes outside again in my new outdoor gym. Ah. Wi Fi's better out there as well. Five seconds. Crouch, lunge, or step back. So, fair. I'm going to demonstrate the step backs actually just to save my knees as well. So, if you're doing the step backs, hold a weight, stay low, keep your core braced. Good. So the step backs are just if your knees aren't happy doing this crouching lunge. If your knees can take it, keep doing it. Two, one, rest. Walkouts. 10 seconds. Right, get ready. Three, two, one, off you go. Keep working on pushing off from a different hand each time. It's really important that you're not constantly pushing off through the same arm. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. And then side to side leaps. If you're comfortable doing these, Leap as far as you can. Five seconds. Three, two, one, off you go. Exercise. I'm quite enjoying me freezing in midair doing these. It looks quite athletic. <laughs> 15 seconds. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. One more round to go. Ground to overhead, grab your weights. Get ready. Three, two, one, off you go. So if you want to make this more challenging and you can't increase your weights, just speed it up a little bit. Or use a baby. <laughs> Small children do have their uses. <laughs> 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Kneeling up and down. This is definitely my least favorite of these four exercises. <laughs> Get ready. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Off you go. <laughs> I think using a small child support might actually be cheating bits, you know. Ten seconds. Oops. Three, two, one, rest, walkouts. Last step. If you feel the need to start early on these, be my guest. <laughs> Off you go. Exercise. Well done. Five seconds. Two, one, rest. Last side to side leap. Again, if you want to just get started, off you go. We've got five seconds though. Three, two, one, off you go. Exercise. 
It takes a few seconds for my brain to work out which leg and which arm should be working doing these. <laughs> Lovely, well done. 15 seconds. Five seconds, keep going. Two, one, rest. Right, I'm just gonna change the settings. So the next set we're doing is going down to 20 seconds with a 10 second rest. And we're doing an extra round of these. So eight, two cycles. There we go, that should be right. Okay. Perfect. All right, the next core exercise is you're going to do a goblet sumo squat. So with a weight, feet wide. This might limit how low you go, that's fine. So with the weight, push down, stand up tall. So like in the warm up, when you stand up, bum tucked under, squeeze your glutes. Try and get your glutes and inner thighs working as much as possible. Then you're doing press ups. Simple press ups on the floor. You can do half or full body. Probably half is a bit more realistic for the full 20 seconds. Make sure you've got your bum tucked under, core braced, chest floor, push the floor away from your body. Then you're going to do burpees. No January burpees is, no, no burpees January. That's it, it's over, done. Burpees every session now. So you've got options. If you don't want to do a full burpee, you can do a straight arm plank one, so you're just jumping out, in, and you can miss the jump if you want to as well and just stand up. Finishing off with ski jumps. So like those side to side jumps, but this time, oh, Sorry, my, my son was just calling me. <laughs> um, ski jump, so you're leaping from side to side and stepping behind you. Use your arms however you need to for support, for support and balance. The more you leap from side to side, the harder work it'll be. So it's 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest. We do two cycles, then rest, then two cycles, then rest, and then another two and rest. But you can be really quickly through these. So we've got a seven second countdown. And then we're starting with these goblet sumo squats. So get ready. I'm gonna work, stand up to the side. Off you go. So it's just 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Now, if your hip mobility isn't brilliant and you can't get very low, don't worry. Just think about keeping your chest high. Keep looking straight ahead. Three, two, one, rest, press ups. Onto your knees. Two, one, off you go. Keep your core braced. So as you hit the floor, put your tummy up to your spine, push the floor away from you. See so your hands just underneath your shoulders and your arms are coming, not quite out to the side, they're along your body a little bit. Good, rest. Next one, burpees. You love them really. Off you go. I'm just gonna show you different options. So you've got kicking out to standing up. Two, one. Rest, last one, ski jumps. See, it goes quickly. 20 seconds is lovely. Three, two, one, go. This week's quite a leggy week. We'll do more upper body and core next week. Two, one, rest. Back to goblet sumo squat. Two, one, go.
These should be okay for knees, but if you're not sure, make sure you keep them pushed out as you squat down. Don't let them collapse in. Two, one, rest. Press ups. Quite a good sweat on now. Two, one, off you go. Push the floor away from you. Try and use your tummy and your upper back as much as you can. Three, two, one. Burpees. I kind of love them. And go. Five seconds. Two, one, done. Ski jumps, and you get a rest. Whew. And go. I'm regretting this great big thick t-shirt quite massively. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. You will get a minute's rest now. Good, recovery. Then take a full minute. If, if that's too much, if your heart rate comes way down, you can start the sumo squats a bit early if you want to. But I would encourage you to take the rest. Heart rates will have gone up a little bit more this one. Thirty seconds to go. Try not to stand completely still when you're resting. Keep your feet moving. Keep moving around. Twenty seconds. So going back onto these sumo squats. If you want to start a bit early, that's fine. You've got fifteen seconds to go. Ten seconds. Three. Two, one, off you go. So if these do start to irritate knees more than you can cope with, then you can shift into a deadlift if you want to. Five seconds. Two, one, press ups. Hands on the shoulders, knees back, bum push forward, off you go. Remember core, upper back. Push the ground away from you as you push up. Rest, burpees. Nobody's starting early for this one. Fine, huh? <laughs> Off you go. And I'm standing up after these. My bones are core engaged and I'm standing up tall. Two, one, ski jumps. I can guarantee there might be some slightly sore bottoms tomorrow. <laughs> Go. Well done. Two, one, rest. Back onto squats after this. I always feel it's quite, quite risky doing these on the mat. One of these days I'm going to trip up and it'll be caught on camera and recorded. Off you go, goblet squats. Mm. 
Well done. Three, two, one, press ups. Get ready, off you go. You'll be starting to get tired now. Make sure you're bringing your chest up off the floor before your chin. Two, one, up you get. And burpees, go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, ski jumps. Get ready. Five seconds, we've got this one, then we've got 30 seconds rest, and we've got one more round. Go. Ten seconds. Almost there. And two, one, rest. 30 seconds rest. Last round of this, it's still 2010, but if you want to get more out of each exercise, when I say the name of the next exercise rather than resting, just go straight away if you want to. We've got exactly the same two rounds to go. And we're starting in 10 seconds. Get ready. So starting with sumo squats, three, two, one, go. You want to go straight into press ups rather than resting. Just start straight away after these. Three, two, one. Press ups or rest. I'm taking the rest of the press ups. <laughs> Off you go. So you might be starting to feel this working your lower back a little bit too much now. Really work on keeping your bum tucked under. Brace your core as you push up. Three, two, one. Rest or burpees. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely thought. Off you go. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest or ski jumps. I'm gonna stop these early, I like these. <laughs> Off you go. We've got one more round after this and then we're done. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Back onto sumo. You can start straight away again if you want. Three, two, one, go. Last four exercises of the day. Hooray. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Press ups or rest. Just remember what your bum's doing, so tucked under, core braced. Off you go. Good. 10 seconds. Two, one. Rest or burpees. 
Go on, it's the last round. Start a bit early, go on. Two, one, off you go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest or ski jumps. Let's start these straight away. Big jumps to the side. Use your arms to help. Good, well done. 15 seconds. We're done after this. Three, two, one. Done. Well done. Your heart rate's gone up nicely. That's good. All right. And we're not quite going to child pose just yet. <laughs> All right. Don't get down to the floor. Let's do a minute of cooling down on our feet. So don't stop your feet moving. Keep them moving around. And I just want you to put one hand inside the other. Drop your chin to the chest. But keep your feet moving. Let your heart rate come down gradually. Well done. Good. And then slowly lower down to your knees. So kneel down, bring your, head, your hands behind your head and just open your elbows up. Don't hunch your shoulders, keep them low. Just pull your elbows apart. Good. And then from there, down into child pose. Feet together, knees apart. I feel your heart rate's come down by a bit now. So just pull your fingers forward a little bit, try and increase the stretch along your back. And then slowly come up, hands under shoulders, knees in together. And then tuck your toes under, push your bum up. Try and keep your heels pushed down. All that jumping today might have irritated your calves a little bit. They might be a bit tight. So just try and push your, knee, your heels into the floor. If it helps to bend your knees, then you can do that. So if you have bent your knees, just try and straighten your legs now. If not, just push down a little bit more. And then just bend your knees, walk yourself up to stand. Hold on to something if you can, quad stretch. So heel pulled into bum, bum tucked under, chest high, and then pull your bum back, your bum back, your heel back even more. Don't pull your bum back. I don't know how you even do that. <laughs> I'm getting very confused with limbs today. I was telling Nikki Harbison to put one leg over the other when I met on an arm over her leg. That was exciting. Change sides. So again, heel into bum, pull it back, tuck your bum under, chest high. If you're doing this properly, you should get a stretch across your hip flexor as well as your quad. So if you really push your hips forward, that'll help. And then again, holding on to something if you can, cross one leg over the other and just drop down. You can do it without hanging onto anything. So I've just got my foot across the top of my knee and just pushing out to the side. If you want to, you can do it as a seated glute stretch if you need to as well. Joe, nice outfit. New leggings. You have to stand up now. <laughs> Change sides. Nice. I, mean, I want to see that sports bra again at the end. That's really pretty. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. That's nice. That is so nice. Good. 
good. And then just release last this one. <laughs> I was going to say, it's, it's good. Booby is not bad. That's a good thing. <laughs> no, Celebrate no, no, them. No, no, no. As as they come out. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from my wedding day, it's the only time I've had a cleavage. It's so <laughs> <laughs> so just bring your shoulders back, core engage, and then just pitch forward, roll down. Let your head drop down. And then slowly roll up and stretch your arms up. Good, and done. Well done. <laughs> we made the Wi Fi pitch lasted. <laughs> no, can I come into shots again? I want that is, that oh is an absolutely no, it's beautiful. That is so nice. <gasps> it's, the, it's a Fabletics one. I really like that. Yeah, they got some nice stuff, although. The customer services is quite bad, and the whole <laughs> good, but yeah, you do get some bargains. But yeah, it's beautiful, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Right, well done, everyone. It's a little bit, I was a bit sticky at times, but it was okay. We didn't, we didn't lose it completely. Right, good. Etta, well done. Is she oh, climbing? The little baby. <laughs> Turn, turn your I screen around and show everyone her climbing frame. Oh, oh yeah. it's down at the moment. I took it down. Oh, today. really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> She's Eloise's coach. She shouts one, two, three, go. I did you. Brilliant. Ready, steady. Ready, steady, go. go. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Oh, so lush, I love it. <laughs> See you all. Thanks, Catherine. Have a lovely day. Bye, Lou. Bye. 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 Yeah, well, I'm going to take the frame down when we're doing this now. Um, it was, I was thinking of you on Sunday night because it's basically, it was just £6.74 a month for the frame. <laughs> um, yeah, Becky was just kind of like, all the time. It's really it's cool. Really it's a cool good. thing. Yeah, it's really good for them to have it to play with. Um, but yeah, yeah I've learned that I've oh, this. got to turn it, take it down at certain points. Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, that's fine. She can look forward to it then. Exactly. Yeah. We made so I'm just looking forward to the climbing wall appearing. Yeah. Well, the, the climbing wall to appear behind you next. Receive a free one hundred pound Amazon gift card. Call zero eight hundred double eight. What is that? So I connected it to the TV and it decided to stop doing it. But the when the TV kicks back in, it goes really, really loud. I don't know why. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Big person. Oh, oh, right, I'm gonna go because that's, that's really